now uh, let us understand another important concept that is uh, how the method calls each other as an uh, i'll create a new class and i'll say method uh, calling right now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to create some methods inside this class let's say a method call public void uh, go right i'll have three methods over here and uh, I'll, I'll just write uh, print something inside the method right I'm just gonna copy this and write it like this. So I've created three methods go, go one, and go two. Right now, if I want to call these methods, I actually need to create an object of a class, right? This we have already seen. So I'll say method calling m equal to new method calling, and I can say m dot go m dot go one and m dot go two so it means whenever i need to uh, call this method i actually need to create an object of this method all right now what i'm doing i'm actually calling these methods inside a main method all the methods are inside same class right but i actually need to create an object of uh, this class in order to call these method now what if uh, i call this go one method inside over here inside the go method directly i should be able to call it without even creating an object of this class right because both method shares the same behavior right both are inside the same class if a method if methods are inside same class you can directly call them if they share the same behavior behavior as in if you see over here this is also a method a main method we have static over here that is the reason i cannot call a method directly over here i cannot uh, just write go over here it will not gonna work it will actually ask me to create an object of this class you cannot i uh, cannot make a static reference to a non-static method see right so the method the has to be uh, a non-static method if we need to call that method directly without creating an object of this class that is the reason i'm able to call this method over here or even you can call this go to method inside the go one method it will not gonna throw any error you need not to create an object of this class so if you just call the method go now and if you just run it it will gonna print everything Right, because whenever you're calling go, it is printing this and anything that is written inside go1. Whenever you're calling go1, it is actually printing this and anything that is written inside this go2 will be executed. Right, so what happens? You call the go method and go method actually printed this and call this method. And whatever that is written inside this has actually been executed. Right, another thing to note uh, over here is that a static component a static component can never give a call to a non static component directly right it it cannot give a call to non non static component directly right means if i write this static keyword against this method as well then it should not be able to call this method from a class right then you can see it is asking me to convert this to a static method and now if i convert this to a static method then i can directly call this method but again i'll not be able to call this go to method so the behaviors of the method should remain same if a method is calling a different method directly right now same way if if i create uh, another method over here that should be a static method i can say public static void go three right if i if i create this method and i'll just write uh inside go three method right and if i just don't create an object of this class over here 
I can still directly call this go3 method like this. And if I run this, it will actually going to print inside go3. Right. So what happens over here is that a static component can directly call any static component and a non-static component can directly give a call to a non-static component also right but again uh, if you're talking about uh, a non-static method it can actually directly give a call to the static method as well right means if uh, if you see over here if i uh, just call this go3 as well over here it should able to give a call to this go3 right so even if I don't write this, uh, if I create again create an object of this class and call it, so it will actually gonna execute the go3 as well. But again, uh, when you're calling a non-static method, you actually need to create an object of this class. Whereas you can directly call the static method without even creating an object of this class. So question comes over here, uh, why not we keep everything as static? Right. So if we are keeping everything as static, uh, then it means that we are not following the double O. Double O as an object orientation uh, programming. Right. We are not following the oops concept. Right. We cannot do inheritance polymorphism if we have everything as static. Right. So those concepts are uh, going to come soon in the upcoming lectures, right? For the time being, we just need to understand that static thing allows uh, all the static components, right? Non-static allows static as well as non-static. It, it can call static as well as non-static as well. And the other thing that non-static components cannot be called without making an object of this class right now if uh, we talk about uh, how these methods are being executed right which method will be called first which method will be called after that so who will actually gonna decide it so let us understand this thing uh, whenever uh, we start uh, writing the code the very first thing uh, we do is we compile the code right then after that it gets executed right and it gives a call to the java virtual machine right now java virtual machine it the very first thing that it looks uh, for in your code is the main method right so this is the very first method that get gets executed now you cannot change uh, this method right you can change the sequence of these method you can write this over here you can you can uh, write this over here any anywhere inside this class right you can write uh, the main method anywhere inside the class but the very first method that will be called is the main method if i just remove the static keyword from here right now there there will not be any compilation error but once you run it your java virtual machine it will actually not gonna find this main method and it will actually gonna throw an error if you read this error it says that main method is not static in the class method calling right so they have given the the that uh, how it should actually be defined this should actually be defined it in this way right you cannot even change the name of this main method you cannot even write main2 because this is the very first thing it search for if you change it then it the method main method not found in the class method call right so it has to be in the same way it has to be implemented in the same way this is the very first thing it searches for then after that whatever sequence that you give inside the main method in the same sequence your code will be executed all the methods will be called in the same sequence okay so let us do uh, an assignment over here uh, just to make sure that uh, 
these thing works like uh, the way that we just discussed so what i'll do uh, i'll go inside uh, this go method uh, i'll print out this inside go method and over here uh, let's say i i give a call to a method uh, go to right and then i again uh, print something i'll just write uh, after calling uh, go to method right and then i'll go inside the go one method i'll print inside go one method and over here i'll give a call to a go method and then i'll just uh, print after calling go method right and then uh, in go to method let's say we write this thing only right now if i go to main method i'll just write m uh, dot go one right and uh, over here let's say uh, okay L let us just call this method. or let's say uh, i just write uh, after calling go method over here right i'll just print one thing over here as well let's change this to go one method so take uh, two minutes of your time and think how this thing uh, will be worked what is the sequence how it will be executed right just think for two minutes all right so let us see uh, how this will be printed right the very first thing uh, it will uh, create an object uh, of this class and it will give a call to like uh, the go one method right now JVM actually looks for the main method so the very first thing when it finds the main method that is the only reason the main method is static right if the main method is start not static uh, JVM will not be able to locate this method right J jvm uh, it has to be the main method has to be static so that uh, otherwise what happens jvm will just keep on creating objects of this class right so jvm it's not a task uh, that it, it uh, jvm should not initially in the beginning create an object of this class it should directly look for a static method a static main method and then it should follow the sequence that is given inside this method right so what uh, we need to do uh, like the very first thing that will be called is uh, the go method it will go inside this uh, method and it will gonna print the very first thing that is inside go method right now after that what will be executed inside go method go inside go and method after this we have in a sequence we have go method so what it will do it will go inside the go method it will actually gonna print inside go method over here right and after that it will find a go to method it will go over here and it will gonna print inside go to method right same way once the go to method is executed what it will gonna print it will print after calling the go to method right now once this go method is over then it will actually uh, gonna print after calling the go method right and at the end it will uh, once this method is over it will go over here and it will actually gonna print this thing right so let us run this and let us see if we get the same results or not so let me do it like this right and just compare it inside go one inside go go to after calling go to go and then go one right so no matter whichever sequence your method follows it will only gonna follow the sequence of the main method all right all right so we have only this much uh, inside uh, the method uh, calling method lecture right 